Hi everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. How are you all doing today? Um, today I have a 12 by 16 inch canvas and I'm going to do a cloud over puddle pour. And I want to give a shout out to all the people that have, all the artists that have inspired me to do this type of pour. And they are Sarah Taylor, S-A-R-A -A, Taylor, Dwight Pours, all one word. Melly D. Artist, and Elise Fournier. And I will list all their names in the description so you can go to their channels. Um, they all do wonderful uh, puddle pours with cloud overs, and they're just really, really uh, wonderful artists. <clears throat> so the difference today is the paints are very thin, and all the recipes, again, I will list in the description. And I am using uh, Dwight Pours and Sarah Taylor's recipes. Uh, my base coat is the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White. And Floetrol is used in all of the paints today also. And thinned with water and also Liquitex uh, pouring medium has been added. And some GAC 800 was also added, I believe, to the base coat. So let's go over the colors today. My first color is Amsterdam Copper. My next color is the Deco Art Peacock Pearl. My next color is the Deco Art Extreme Sheen 24 Karat Gold. My next color is Amsterdam Prussian Blue, but I did add a little bit of Deco Art Garnet to that. It's a very, very pretty, pretty dark, dark, dark blue color here. My next color is a combination of golden green gold and Arteza yellow ochre. And my last color is a color I call the mysterious that is made up of four different paints. And again, I will list that in the description. And let me show you consistency of these paints. Very thin, like I said, almost like water thin. You add a lot of water to them so they will spread. And also satin enamel is added to the base coat. And I don't believe it's, let me check here. A little bit of satin enamel is um, added to the cloud mix. And the cloud mix can be poured over the paints or next to the paints. I'll just have to see how I want it to work here. But what I'm going to do is fill my, some paints in my cup and uh, put a puddle down and then just let it uh, spread all over the canvas. And I'm hoping to get negative space today also. So let's just get started here. I'll start with this mysterious. So no silicone is added into the paints today. The cloud, we want to get that effect hopefully from that satin enamel. And I did use DecoArt satin enamel on that. And the paint does sink because it is so thin. It is quite a challenge for me to work with this thin of paint. I think I'll just do two layers of each color and that'll be good because this is a smaller canvas. I just wanted to try it on a, a smaller size to see how it goes before I tackle a big canvas. Okay. I have my cup filled. I'll show you that. So I'm going to put down a puddle of my 
base coat here in the middle. And just pour like a dirty pour on top. And also for the cloud mixture, let me check this here. Also for the cloud mixture, I used um, house paint. Again, I will have the recipes for all of that in the description. I'm just going to add a little more paint here just to help this paint move It looks like really pretty colors so far. A lot of shiny bling going on there, metallic. Okay, let's see how that works. I think I will give it another Another torch here just before we start out. Okay. So I'm just going to do my tipping now. And I'll see if I am going to use the cloud mixture or not on top. And I do see something in here that does not belong, or I thought I did, right here. Okay, now I do have a little bit of this cloud mixture. And what I'm going to do is run it along the edges here a little bit. And I also may run just a little bit up through the painting with my palette knife here. I make sure that I clean off my palette knife after every time I run it through the paint. <clears throat> Kind of trying to run it through some natural lines here.
give you one more here. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is take my straw and I'm just going to blow up a little bit. Where I added that paint. Hope you're hopefully you're still in frame here. In a little bit right in here. going to do a little bit more tipping okay let's do a little bit more tipping here Okay, that's really pretty. Very, very pretty. Okay. Wipe my hands off here quick and I'll give it a torch. See what we have. This is very pretty in here. Let's give it a quick torch here. Go see if my other torch has more fluid in it, in it here. No, I'll be right back. I'm going to fill my torches and I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I filled my torch. So let's give it a torch here see what we get some little cells coming up here along the edges and those may grow over time if I leave it sit here long enough where I added that cloud mix I'm getting cells and I think I will run my palette knife through a couple more spaces here, a couple more places. See what effect I can get with that. And I also may take a little pipette 
and put the cloud mix in and just add a few spots. Just a little something for the eye to look at. And I might try blowing those out a little bit. giving some very, very pretty effects in here. Very, very pretty. Okay, let's give that a torch and see what we get. I think I will turn the painting now. I'm going to just blow this area here. Just bringing up some of those really beautiful colors underneath. Okay, do another little torch here.
Okay. Pretty happy with the uh, composition of this piece. And I really do think by adding that cloud mix and blowing it out, it's really given an added dimension to this painting. Just gonna give it another torch here. And I may try just before finishing, just blowing this out a little bit. Okay, put in a torch. Okay, and I think I'll get you down for a close-up and you can tell me what you think. Okay, everybody, I'm back for my close-up. Um, off camera, I played with this painting quite a bit and remember this is a 12 by 16 inch canvas and it's a cloud over puddle pour. What I did is I took a lot of the uh, cloud mixture and I put it along the edges and I blew it up onto the paint and then I blew it out. And that's, that's the um, reaction I got the effect I got there in the upper left hand corner and we're just coming down the left hand side now again I added a lot more of the cloud mixture to give us that cloudy effect there and I just blew it with the straw this is the lower left hand corner these colors played beautifully together the copper the gold that deep mysterious blue and the green, that, that green gold is just beautiful. Just going up the middle here. Here's another spot I added the cloud mixture and just blew it out. And this is the middle at the top. We'll go over to the top right now. I really played with that quite a bit with the cloud mixture, blowing it up onto the paints here and then blowing it out with the straw. And that's the effect I got there. And then torched it. You can see all the little cells I have popping up there. That cloudy effect. Just coming down the right hand side here. Very pretty area in here. And down to the right hand bottom so let me know what you think of this video if you liked it give me a thumbs up and share it make sure you ring the bell choose all so you know the next time that I do post a new video I am going to be working on this technique a lot more because it was just so much fun and subscribe if you haven't that would be great help my channel grow and until next time, take care, everybody. Bye for now.